video was requested by Pile333. If you have any future tutorial ideas, then make sure to write them in the comments. I hope you enjoy the tutorial. Hello, I'm Interpixel, and today I'm going to show you how to create a sprite sheet from an animation in Blender. So have you ever played things like Mario and uh, they have those running animations and stuff? Well, that is actually from a sprite sheet, and they are incredibly efficient ways of storing animation data in one single image. And so I'm going to show you, with a mixture of Blender and FFmpeg, how to create one. Now this is an automated process, so you will not need to worry about any compositing or anything like that. Right, so to start off we want to make our animation. I'm just going to add in a monkey, Suzanne, we're going to add in a camera if we haven't already, we're going to press Control alt 0 to snap the camera to view, and we're going into the camera properties, changing that to orthographic. Now we're going to bring this up like this, and we're going to give it a bit of space. We're going to press N so we can go into the properties tab, and on the Z rotation we're just going to type in 130 degrees, which will make it near to the camera. Now we're going to just type hashtag frame divided by 10, and this will make it spin like this. So, we're going to find the frame where it loops. I found 62 as the frame where it loops. So now we've done this, we're going to go into here and then we're going to go to the EV properties. We're going to make sure that it's set to only a few samples, so let's say three samples, and then we're just going to add in a few lights. For this I'm going to be using area lamps. We're going to change the power to something like 50 watts instead. Now we're going to press shift and shift and then shift again on this to make it the active object, press Control l and link the object data. This will make all of them 50 watts. I'm going to reposition my camera. Now we have the thing spinning, we're going to go into the compositing tab. Since I want this to be rather low resolution, I'm going to make it 64 bits, or you can make it a bit higher, so that's going to give us 96 pixels. And then I'm just going to zoom in and just check that nothing is being clipped. And it looks like nothing is being clipped, so we can proceed. Now we're going to go into the compositing tab and just render out a frame using F12. Now you see it's quite low resolution, uh, and we are rendering out the alpha layer here. But uh, I want it so it's either an alpha value of 1 or an alpha value of 0. If you are a bit clueless of what I'm talking about here, then um, then wait and see, and I'm sure you'll understand. So, we're going to do a separate, and we're going to do HSVA, standing for Hue Saturation Value Alpha. And then we're just going to do a combine, same thing, and we're going to plug in the same things. And you see, it looks exactly the same, so you're thinking, Hey Interpixel, well, that, that's a bit useless. Well, uh, that is not true, because if we add in a round node, plug that into the alpha, you see now we're getting either 0 or 1, and we can actually view that. I can show you the before and after. So you see here, it's either black or white. And then we can see this. You see there are some pixels which are 0 0.5 or those sort of things. So that's what you've done. So now we're going to go to the first frame in the sequence, which in this case is going to be 1. We're going to go to this tab, and it's very important that you get this uh, section right. So firstly, we're going to change our frame rate to 12 FPS. So just change it to custom, and then just click 12 FPS, so you see now it's playing a bit less smoothly. Now we're going to pick a file output. So I recommend you just uh, make a new folder. I'm going to name this... Um, FFmpeg sprite sheet tutorial. And then we're going to do this and we're just going to press accept without giving it a file name. Now you see for the file format we're going to have this at PNG. You can also use JPEG but that has some compression. So now we have zero compression with a PNG sequence making sure that we have RGBA enabled meaning that there's going to be an alpha channel. We can just press Control F12 and that will not take much time at all. Okay, so now we've finished that, we can get rid of Blender because we won't need it anymore. So next we want to navigate to our folder, and you see I have all of my images here. So we have 62 in total. 
So, in order to go to FFmpeg, we're going to click on this thing here and just type in CMD. And this is uh, basically just going to open the command prompt in our folder, as you see here. To make sure that FFmpeg is installed, just type in FFmpeg. And you see here, it's going to give me a list of commands. If it doesn't, then it means you don't have FFmpeg installed and you'll just need to install it. So I will leave a link in the description to a video which covers how to download FFmpeg and uh, make sure that it is from 2020 or 2021 as the ways of downloading FFmpeg do change quite rapidly over the years. So make sure you're not watching an outdated tutorial. Now we know that we have FFmpeg installed, we have to copy and paste the thing from the description. You see here, it's going to give us a ton of things and I'm going to actually explain it in this Figma document. So you see this is our command and so this is the thing which I have uh, separated up for you so you can understand it a bit better. So ffmpeg is the first uh, bit of the command so we're just asking the computer to run ffmpeg so we can use their libraries. So the next bit is dash i which is input and then we want to input our image sequence and you see here something to point out. You see in our folder it says 00010002 and this process is called indexing and this is essential for our tiling sequence. So as you see here it says in order to tell the computer how to order these images we have to write how many digits there are in our title of the image. For example if we have a file name called 01.png then we will write percentage 02d.png and this is basically saying percentage meaning index our sequence and then 02 meaning that there are two digits in our thing so um, in my example here if i go back we have one two three four digits and so i would have to do four here as you see the next bit is dash filter underscore complex tile equals and this is basically just running the tile command of ffmpeg and you don't really need to worry about this bit and the next bit is 31 times 1. So this is the grid shape for the x and y axes. So uh, this will tell the computer where to arrange each tile. Make sure that the two numbers are a pair of factors of the number of frames in your sequence. For example, 3 times 4 would be good for a 12 frame sequence. In this case, 31 is a prime number and so the only pair of factors is 1 and itself. So the only way of arranging it in a rectangular formation is 31 times 1. So the last bit is output.png and this is just saying uh, what is the name of our image which we're going to output after we've done all of these steps. So um, if you've done everything the same as me, so you have named everything with uh, four digits like this, you put them in a folder, uh, then you shouldn't have to worry about anything and you can just press enter but if you've done something slightly different like you have uh, three digits in your titles then you just have to change that to zero 3d and so on and so forth so there may be some differences and it says that i got an error message here and that is because i didn't change this bit here which is tile equals 31 times 1. so we're going to have to find a factor of 62 and i know that 31 times 2 is 62 so we're just going to use that. So I'm just going to copy and paste the same message and I'm going to do 31 times 2. Now it should all be fine and then we're just going to say yes because it has already outputted a file called output.png and I would like to replace it so I'll just say yes and there we go. That's pretty much everything to it. So if we double click on this image then you see we have all of our frames of our monkey going round as a sprite sheet. So uh, I hope you found this tutorial useful and uh, if you like this video then um, subscribe and like and do all that good stuff and if you didn't like it then don't subscribe and dislike this video and stuff and uh, if you have any ideas for future tutorial ideas or anything that I could do on this channel then make sure to write in the comments. Have a good day guys, bye. Thank you so much for Dropped Beat for helping me with some of the code.